What's going on guys? I'm excited to be posting my first video. This may end up being my only video. I don't really know. We'll just have to see how this goes. Um, but I hope y'all are doing well. And um, like I said in my, in my um, little message on Google Classroom, you know, I'm not going to be trying to throw so much work at y'all uh, to really bog you down, but I do want the work that we do to be productive and, you know, you guys really get something from it and learn something from it. So for the next two weeks, uh, at least we'll be talking about the stock market and uh, we'll kind of see where it goes and, and what all we do with it. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and get started there. So the way I did this, I sort of have I sort of wrote out what the things I'm going to say. Uh, and so uh, might be a little bit different than how I normally do class, but I'll probably ad lib a little bit as well. So, uh, all right. So the stock market. So some of y'all, most of y'all have really probably heard that term thrown around, you know, the stock market. Uh, but you're probably also a little bit confused about, you know, what exactly the stock market is. So I'm going to try and, and keep it real simple and simplify this uh, here, especially for the first time. So first, let's sort of talk about what a stock is. All right, so stock is simply ownership of a company. All right, so a single stock is a small piece of a big company. All right, so you can purchase a stock. Uh, a stock is sometimes called a share in a company, so you can purchase a share of stock in a company and, and you own part of that company, all right? So for example, you could purchase a stock or a share of Facebook, all right? And I looked at today and uh, a single share of Facebook stock would cost you $160.98, okay? So if you owned a single share of Facebook stock, which isn't gonna really do you a lot, but if you owned one share of Facebook stock, that means that you, like what, what do we say stock is? Stock is ownership of a company. So if you own one share of stock, which Facebook has millions and millions and millions of shares of stock, but if you own one share of stock, then you could write on your Twitter bio if you wanted to that you're part owner of Facebook. And you're not lying, you are part owner of Facebook. Now you're a very, 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 very small part owner of Facebook, uh, but you do in fact own part of Facebook. Okay. So there's a ton of companies that you can purchase stock with like Google, McDonald's, Microsoft, Verizon, any, any big company. Um, and each company's stock price is going to be different. And there's different reasons why some companies stock price is higher and some companies stock price is lower. And honestly, within a uh, different companies, a higher stock price isn't, doesn't necessarily mean that the company's better or worth more. Uh, it's different companies set their stock up different ways. Um, but you can, you know, purchase shares of stock and these, this, the shares of stock, individual stock share, like that share price of Facebook that I said of $160 and 98 cents, that's going to fluctuate and change throughout the day. Uh, whenever the stock market is open, the stock market is open Monday through Friday. Um, you know, something like 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, and people buy and buy and sell and make trades on stocks, tons of stocks in every company, every second of every day. All right. So we're, we understand what stock is. It's ownership of a company. So first question is why would someone want to buy stock in a company? Okay. Why would you want to buy stock in a company? Why would you want to take a lot of the money that you have, maybe it's in your savings account or, or whatever, and why would you be interested in buying part of another company? All right, so for the most part, people purchase stock in a company as an investment. All right, I'm going to try to invest my money. When you invest something, you, you put something into it and hope that you see a you know something better come from it later on. All right, so I'm going to take the money that, I have, and I'm going to try to make more money with it. All right, we've talked about this before, but let's look at this example. If I have $30,000 uh, sitting in my savings account or something, and I go and get it out of the bank, so I've got $30,000 in cash in my hand, and I stick it under my mattress, all right? And I'm like, I don't, I don't want anybody to touch my $30,000. It's going to stay in my mattress. 
And if that sits there for five years, five years down the road, my money is going to be worth a lot less. Okay. Um, and that's called inflation, which is basically, you know, the, that stuff gets more expensive over time, but that's not really today's topic. But instead I could take my $30,000 and I could invest it in the stock market. I could invest it into some companies. Okay. So I'm going to take my money and I'm going to invest it into some companies. Uh, and I'm hoping that those companies do well and my $30,000 grows in money versus my $30,000 that's sitting under the mattress which loses money or my $30,000 that is in my savings account that, you know, barely makes a little bit of money, but nothing that, you know, really changes anything. So instead, I'm going to invest my money in the stock market and hope that I can make some money with it. All right. Now, there's also a chance you could lose money in the stock market. Let's take that, uh, you know, Facebook. Uh, so you invest your $30,000 into Facebook. And then let's say some news breaks that Mark Zuckerberg, who's the CEO of Facebook, let's say that he, uh, he's been working with the Russians to cause chaos in America through Facebook ads, all right, which might not be far-fetched. Um, and so if that happened and you had $30,000 invested in Facebook and that goes all over the news, you know, the price of, let's say the price of Facebook stock went from $160 per share to $80 per share. It got cut in half. Well, what's going to happen to your $30,000? It's going to get cut in half from $30,000 to $15,000. So you lost money. So there's risk and reward to investing in the stock market. All right. Now, why would a company sell stock? So while, you know, I'm going to, uh, investors are going to buy stock to try to make more money. Why would a company sell stock? All right. Companies sell stock to get the money that they need in order to try to grow their company, uh, develop new products, new technology, hire new workers. You know, the list goes on and on. Uh, but companies sometimes need cash to be able to do stuff. Okay. And so they sell stock to get the money that they need to do things. All right, so we got a, a sample company here that we're going to sort of uh, draw this out with. And our example company is called Danquarius Shoes Company, also known as DSC. And it's owned by the one and only Danquarius Parker. All right. And Dan has worked really hard over the years. And his shoe company is now valued at $500,000. Okay. And Dan has this idea, he's going to create a new pair of shoes that has little springs in the bottom of the shoes to help people jump higher because, you know, Dan went his whole life and he couldn't dunk a basketball. And so he's like, I've always wanted to dunk a basketball, so I'm going to have these spring shoes, all right? But he needs some money to be able to do that. He, it's going to cost him $100,000 to develop these shoes. And Dan thinks that that his company is going to make a lot of money off these shoes. So it's an, he, he wants to do it. So he needs $100,000. And how is he going to raise this $100,000? Um, he decides to sell part of his company. He decides to sell some shares of stock. All right. So he, ha he gives out three investors to raise the money that he needs. So he's got, <clears throat> he's got three investors. He's got investor A, who gives him $30,000. He's got investor B, who gives him $20,000, and Investor C, who gives him $50,000, all right? And again, that adds up to $100,000, which is the amount of money that Dan is trying to raise, okay? Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about why a company sell stock. It's to make money that they need to do other things with the company. And at the end of the day, they're trying to make their company more valuable um, in that process. Okay. So now why did person A, B, and C give Dan their hard earned money? Why did they invest in his company? Why did they buy stock in his company? Uh, because they're hoping that DSC shoe company, uh, is going to grow. All right. Because they, they believe in this, this springy shoe and they think it's going to grow to be worth uh, a lot more money. So let's say the company grows to be worth a million dollars. Originally, what was it worth? $500,000. And now it's worth a million dollars after these three investors gave Danquarius their money. So now person A, 
uh, is now worth his his money that he put in is was thirty thousand dollars, and now his thirty thousand dollars. Let me finish writing this up here. His thirty thousand dollars is now worth sixty thousand dollars. Person B's twenty thousand dollars is now worth forty thousand dollars, and person C's fifty thousand dollars is now worth a hundred thousand dollars. So you see both sides benefited, all right? Dan needed the money and he got the investors. So he got what he needed, the money, the $100,000, and the investors got what they wanted. The company did well and they all made money as well, okay? And so that is, that's really what stock is and how stock works and why you would purchase stock in a company and why a company would sell stock to people, okay? Um, so let's see. So these com you know, companies need money. So like in the case of Facebook, uh, there's millions of people who own stock in Facebook and they all hope that Facebook does well and Facebook grows and that their money that they've invested in Facebook grows. And Facebook benefits by taking all this money from these millions of people and then being able to do things to improve their company, all right? Now remember, uh, in the stock market, you can also lose money, right? So if that company does bad, if it doesn't grow, then your money could go down. Uh, so there's a risk and a reward to investing in the stock market. So that's the lesson for today. Uh, check the um, message boards on Google Classroom where I'm gonna post your assignment to do based off of this video. And doing that assignment to, uh, on the day that it's due uh, will also count for your daily attendance. Thanks, guys. I hope this made sense, and uh, we'll keep talking more about the stock market. See ya.